while refreshing. You woke me up. Thanks. <laughs> Enough with the chit chat. My belly's growling. <laughs> I must quench this rumbling in my belly first. The Temple of Crouching Tiger, they say there's meat there. Worth a look. Rat meat is insufferable. Uh, help me score a tasty treat, will you? Uh, it drives me mad. I've been craving a taste of that juicy jade lotus. Can you find me some in this barren land? Oh, I wouldn't mind some meatless meals from time to time. Hmm, I have stumbled upon some interesting leads. The realm of gold does hold a connection to this desolate land. I hear the realm of gold is where the sun sets. There, they held rats above all others. Hmm, and somehow, before we knew it, the realm was gone. Quite odd, that is. Hmm. I just tried those rat guys. They taste like men flesh. Hmm. Its people are not yet extinct. I suspect the yellow wind guai had a role in their downfall. Our senior brother gave me a piece of gold. I'll need it here when the time's right, he said. Hmm. It's the right time now. I'm taking it to the right place to give it a try. Hmm. I just tried those rat guys. They taste like men.
intensity! <laughs> this is good. You and I should explore that realm together. I... Men in our time do not see the ancient moon, but this moon hath shone on men of yore. Behold! Be it the realm of sunset or the realm of gold, it's but an echo of the past. Legends speak of an ancient, colossal beetle in these sands. Whilst deep in slumber, it lay hidden beneath the Earth's embrace. When awakened, it would devour all souls that crossed its path. Its shell, harder than stone, defied the strikes of common arms. It struck fear into traveling merchants and wider to neighboring realms. But a yellow-furred rat sensed the immense power emanating from the insect. He halted the beetle's havoc and harnessed it for his own end. Overjoyed, the king named the rat Guai, the royal sage, and built a shrine in his honor. The bound beetle was a perfect source of power, so the rat stayed. He seized the tongue monk using the new power, and battled with Soon Wukong upon the Yellow Wind Ridge. The Guai's formidable wings failed the vast expanse of the sky. Were it not for Bodhisattva Lingji, Tongue Monk's quest for the scriptures would have failed. Yet, stripped of the rat's protection, the kingdom was plunged into a state of ruin. The once lush Yellow Wind Ridge now lies a desolate wasteland. <laughs> Yeah! 
Surprise strike! Why not use this might to aid my king's good deed? Our king comes from Mount Lingshan. His kind heart seeks to end the place's suffering. The Yaogwai's skills run deep, yet with your help, our chances will be doubled. You bested my vanguard. <laughs> then you do indeed have skills. That Yao Guai must have some vessel that counters me. Even my Samadhi wind can't hurt it. <sighs> there is only one way to draw out this Yao Guai. I'll sound the drums and it'll come forth. If you are willing, I ask you to seize its vessel at the right time. Then the Yao Guai will be mine. an end of the world. Each day, the sun sets and boils the sea. The boiling hiss is sharp enough to ravage babies in their cradles. The people sound drums to counter the impact, but the drums draw this Yao Guai. The vessel this Yao Guai holds protects it from me. Your boldness in venturing here is clear. Aid me with this.
on the folk's behalf. <laughs>